So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, Bertram. Take over YouTube! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, and this is my review for Contra Operation Galuga. So, dear viewer, if you wouldn't mind, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. So, Contra Operation Galuga released a couple of days now, I think. And this is the 1233rd Contra game. What is Contra, I hear you asking? Well, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked, dear viewers. These are a series of run-and-gun platformer action games in which you're usually running through stages, shooting enemies, and fighting bosses. Do you like the sound of that, soldier? Well, enlist now for Operation Galuga. Actually, I think you'd be enlisting for the Contra Corps, but that's neither here nor there. Now, from what I understand in the very basic research I have done for this game, this is a kind of, sort of, maybe, remake of the first Contra game that released too a long time ago. But how is this game compared to the older Contra games? Well, do you like Contra, dear viewer? You do? Then you're going to enjoy this game. Do you not like Contra, dear viewer? Oh, you don't? Uh, well, then you might not enjoy this game as much as I did. Now, I have played every single Contra game in existence. Probably. And I would definitely say this ranks up there as one of the best, if not the best, Contra game ever made. High praise, you might be thinking. But considering that this is a very generic series of video games in which, like I said, you're mostly running through stages, doing basic platforming, picking up power-ups, shooting enemies, fighting bosses and scratching your ass, this game doesn't really reinvent the wheel. There is some nice cutscenes, there's voice acting, there's an arcade mode, there's a challenge mode. And if you're wondering how long it's going to take you to play through this bloody game, well, my first playthrough of this game took me about an hour and 20 minutes. The second playthrough took me less time than that, and the third playthrough I did took me even less time than that. So it isn't the longest game in the world, and the main sticking point about that is the game's price. Now here, in the great United Kingdom, this game cost me the sum total of £31. And that's maybe a little bit too much for a game like this. Usually for an indie, retro-inspired platformer, 2.5D platforming running gun game, I would expect the price to be no more than about oh, £17, £18, maybe £19, maybe £20, depending on how I'm feeling that day. So I do think this game is a little bit overpriced, so if you have any interest in playing this game at all, and you haven't already bought it, of course, then I suggest you wait for a sale. So in conclusion, you beautiful bastards, this is a very good Contra video game. If you like Contra, that is. Therefore, I declare that Contra Operation Galuga is a Contra game. What? You expect me to give you a score there? Piss off. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my totally not improvised review for Contra Operation Galuga. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. But please remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Are you still here?
Oh, you must have really enjoyed this video then. In that case, you had better subscribe to the channel and check out our other content. Otherwise, you're a booby pants. And no one wants to be a booby pants.